Hello. It's been a while. For a lot of reasons, actually. Anyway, that ridge that you saw up there, that little green clearing. My last video had a bike ride. That, uh, that little area is where the the video was shot from. I am at the headwaters of the Mekan River. So up there, I suppose, I suppose with the sun you can't see it. But anyway, today, after a long month of house painting, getting caught up on some repairs and painting of the house. I finally had enough and had to get the heck out of there and do some playing. So, that is a ancient Sawyer summer song. I don't believe Sawyer is still in business. I believe they were in financial troubles in the 90s. I'm not sure when they went out. I haven't really followed them. I have two Sawyers. I have the, the Summer Song and a little bit longer boat, a Shockwave. Both are solo canoes. And this is a little fun boat. It's not that little actually, but it's a fun boat. So. I'm going to pull this rather than paddle through four inches of water out to the one of the kettles out there. So, actually, I'll see you in a bit. All right, that's where I was. Cattails, bulrushes. There are the channel opens up into some kettles. And if you saw the bike ride, up along that ridge is the road. Actually, right about there where that those dead trees are. I think that's where I first stopped. Give you a shot of the opening kettles here. So, it's been a while. Hope you're all doing well. I am smoking Leo from Scandinavian Tobacco, the 2012 People's Choice Award at the John C. or John Cotton Throwdown. This particular tin was tinned in December of 12. The Virginias in it are calm down. They're quite sweet. The lot of Kia's in there. What else is in there? The 2012 John Cotton Throwdown challenged three blenders to create this legendary blend. Show attendees were invited to choose their favorite. Here is the People's Choice winner for your smoking enjoyment. Sorry. The initial burst of Latakia gives way to the sweetness of Virginia's. Cyprian Orientals add a subtle spice. Hint of spice, anyways. As I said, it's been long hours after work, long weekends, doing some repair work on the house, painting the trim, scraping, priming, painting. I am basically done with that. And today it started out raining, so it was a perfect end to the entire marathon repair session while the days were long and the the weather was dry. Hopefully the sun there wasn't too bad for you. 
Anyway, as I said, I'm on the Mecan Springs. This is a series of wet kettles. As you saw back there, there was a basically a end of the tunnel channel where it got filled in with glacial debris. That little creek, a little stream comes right out of the side of there. A num numerous springs along here feed this river system. During this whole house cleaning, house painting, house repairing thing, I got my first stings from paper wasps that were hiding behind the building nests behind the shutters. And it's interesting, two, two weeks ago, maybe three, I got stung by two of them, one in the, one, up, one just above the eye and one on my left hand. Um, put, immediately put some hydrocortisone on them, went back to work, nothing. No redness, no irritation, nothing. No immune reaction whatsoever. Yesterday, probably can't see it, but there's about a two and a half inch red welt on my on my hand where I got another sting. So within that two week or three week time frame, my body has made the antibodies to the paper wasp venom, and I'm having a reaction. So hope this swelling and itchiness goes down pretty quick here. Been stung by honeybees, bumblebees, but never paper wasps. So, interesting how the body reacts and starts to make antibodies for them. A little bit of an allergic reaction now. So I'm going to drift, I actually did drift downstream and I paddled up, up into the wind up to the headwaters here. There's been some great blue herons and there's been a bald eagle working along the, the edges but with this camera and 4x zoom you're never going to, I'm never going to get close enough. It'll be a little black dot in the sky. Oh look that's a bald eagle up there. Ooh that's spit them in out of the end of the pipe. The pipe itself is nothing special. It's a prince shape. It's a CP out of Germany. CP Germany is the all that it says. Um, it's okay. Twenty-two dollars maybe for twenty-two bucks. It's a fine pipe. Perfect for taking in a boat. I think that way you're going to be in the sun. So I'm going to paddle down, do a little more sightseeing. That is a homemade paddle in college I was into paddling more than I am now. That's when I got this boat. Actually, this boat was purchased for my wife. I purchased it. had this great plan of perhaps going on a honeymoon or a trip after we were married to the Boundary Waters or Quetico in Canada. She doesn't really like canoeing, <laughs> so the boat doesn't get much use. I, get, I use it more, the kids use it more than, than she ever has. So I call it my boat. Such is life. I have a road bike that has a similar lack of miles from her. Um, doesn't really like road bikes, so. And I really don't like mountain bikes, so. 
our paths seldom cross on a bike. Anyway, it seems to work. 23 years later, it all seems to be fine. And I'll paddle down and perhaps give you a couple more shots before I pull the boat out and head back home. Perhaps you saw that white-tailed doe in the background there. I was hoping I could float in and get close to her, but she didn't want any part of me. So, let's see what else we can find. Well, it's not quite a black dot in the sky, but it is a, it does appear to be an immature bald eagle. And that eagle was looking at some small wood ducks. Looks like two or three were over there with a hen. Um, and as I was moving the camera, there was a beaver swimming by in the reeds there. Sorry, I missed the beaver for you. But anyway, the eagle was looking at the, watching the wood ducks, um, and they're now into the, the thick reeds, so I'm not even going to try to disturb them. I don't want to get the, the raptor and the, and the prey in the mix here. So I'm going to paddle out of here and see what else we can find. Maybe that beaver will pop back up.